It's the PSP hacking to the 101. You better respect her, I'ma pop you with my gun. I'll be strapping my PSP with all the new brew. Pimp streamer and homebrew tag for you. They got so much dough, it ain't even stackable. You know who they be, it's the Pox and Wreckable. They teaching you hacking, clearer than glass. It's like they force feeding this stuff up your ass. Wreckable and Pox, they teach you real nice. They win when they come and they know how to throw their dice. These gangsters right here, they icier than ice. So before you talk about them, you better think twice. I'm raggable. Oh, now you're raggable, huh? I'm Pox. <laughs> oh, who the hell should I be? I don't know, normally I'm Pox and I'm raggable. Not I'm raggable and I'm Pox. I had to cover for your mistake. <laughs> okay, go, go ahead. Again. No, you go ahead and be raggable. No, you can be raggable. I'm raggable. I'm Pox. <laughs> this is PSP Hacking 101, episode 14. I'm, yeah. re I'm really Pox. So. If he says so. Anyways, <laughs> what are we going to be covering today? Well, there's a few things. We're going to give you a little status update on our homebrew game, which the, the alpha is available now yeah, on our website. Yeah, if you haven't seen that on PSP Update or... or... Uh, the, the actual tutorial for that is going to be in episode 15. But you're going to need Lua Player. <laughs> And uh, in order to run run the game, yes, and install that, and that works on all firmwares PSP. You might need GTA, but yeah, there's different versions of Lua that will that you have to use for different firmware versions. I, I had it working with uh, our GTA PSP with version 14, point one four, uh, point one four, point one six for my 2.0, and then point one eight for his 1.5. And it's just a little little. Po I guess it's Poxman. Is that what? Yeah, Molly yeah called that's it? what that, the, the, when he submitted it. It said. By Poxman or something. Poxman Alpha. Poxman yeah. Alpha 1.0. Anyways, it's just a little tag game. You can, and what you do is you run like this. One person controls via the directional pad. The other person controls via the buttons. Yeah, and that's you know just like any other standard two-player Lua game right now. Uh, we've been promised by Butterballer IR support and Wi-Fi support. So we'll mm. see how that oh, goes. Yeah, that, well, here's our first test of the IR support. Yeah, so, <laughs> see so. how well this worked. Okay. All right. So, see here. You use, I, I'm using the, the 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 square and the triangle and all them things. And, and I mean, right now we around. just turn around and so one of us oh, touches. Crap. No, no, no. Ah! So it's like a tag game, but the, the, the thing is, is when you touch, you just lose. So I don't know what the point is. If you want to run well, away from somebody, because like I told if, if you get hit, then we have to designate who's on offense and who's on defense. Ah, oh, ah. And then each side will have. Oh, ah. oh. <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> yeah, if these sprites were a little bit bigger, this would be a lot easier. Hey, I wonder if I if it's easier for me because right now my oh, sprite's smaller. Oh, that was totally collision. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> All right, and then next build we're gonna try out is build six. With the infrared support on it. Yeah, so don't be expecting a game that's all like... Fancy dancy. Yeah, it's not exactly going to rival GTA or anything, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, so this is going to use the IR port, right? I think, you know, Butterballer didn't really tell me how this was going to work. <laughs> we said to videotape it when we try it. Yeah. Alright. Okay, I'm raggable. Are you raggable? I'm raggable. Okay, I'm also Pox. Um... Did he say this was going to actually work? You know, I'm beginning to think no. Here. Well, that's it, man. He set up the camera and everything for this. Damn you, Butterballer! <laughs> okay, and okay. we're back. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work out quite as planned, but it will in future versions, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, oh, and the rest of the show. Man, we, we're off track today. Yeah, well, I want to talk more about the game. Oh. I mean, you know, it's just tag right now, but the way it's going to work, or the way I envision it as of right now, is uh, somebody will start out as basically on the offense, and then another person on the defense, and the other person tries to chase the other one around. However, um, there'll be a time limit for the offense person, and then they'll switch after that, and then around the board will be basically power-ups for both sides, and then ones that are, you know, shared between both. You know, you could get like a speed boost in the other person. The, That'd be cool. <laughs> the speed boost, and you're like, zhoo, chomp, zhoo, chomp, zhoo, chomp. Uh, you guys think that you can do Wi Fi too? That'd be kind of kind of cool. He said PSP 3D would host the infrastructure, so. Oh, yeah, so the, that's where the file's being hosted now, it's on PSP 3D. But... Anyways, uh, so there's our game. That's the game. My thoughts. 
my plans. It, it's it's a work in progress, and hopefully when we get it more done, we'll, we'll give you a little uh, tutorial on how to get started on your own. Right. So, <laughs> give you a little taste of Lua. Uh, also, you, in today's show, yes, uh, we, we'll be covering the font, the font hack, how to change your system font on your PSP. Mm-hmm. We're also going to be showing Pimps. the pimp, <laughs> the pimp streamer. <laughs> Uh, location free TV on your PSP's 1.5 for free, basically, well, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. sort of. No, it's experimental, so it's not... yeah. It, it's still really cool though. You're able to stream full res video off your PC in AVI format, and it'll transcode it automatically and send it to your PSP. As long as you got a really powerful PC, good connection, get all the settings just right. Anyways, here we go. All right, so recently a modification of the PMP uh, media player for the PSP has been hacked to allow streaming from your PC. Yeah, it's a modified version that will automatically do the transcoding and send it over to your PSP. So you can just throw all the AVI files in a directory on your PC, um, load this on your PSP, and it's just basically like the location-free player that's available in a 2.5 and 6, but on your 1.5 PSP. And it's free. <laughs> and that's $300. So, anyways, uh, what do we need? What do these people need to do to get the pimps running? Well, you got to download the um, eBoot files, and you got to install those on your PSP. Okay, typical, you know, installation. Yeah, you game. know, your PSP games directory. Throw those in there. Uh, okay, great. You're great. also going to have to edit an INI file, and you're going to have to change out the two IPs in there for whatever. IP of the PS of the PC that's going to be hosting the AVI files. There's two IPs in there. There's there's two sections, and you need to change them both to be the PC. To IP. be the PC, right? And if you want to do this over the you know, remote connection, you've got to make sure what your public IP is. You got to make sure you know what that is. And then you have to go into your router, set up port forwarding to go to the PC inside and what of your port network. Is that? And it's port three thirty three. 333. 333. Yes. Okay. And as far as we know, it's what? TCP or UDP? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Do both. Turn to make sure. That's Fox's <laughs> solution all the time when he doesn't know. The, the only thing that you might have to worry about is uh, if you do open this up, there's no password on it, so anybody could log in and watch your files if they know your IP address at the moment. Uh, maybe this is something in the future that can be changed. I, I don't know. Uh, Anyway, so you edit the INI, uh, and then what do you need to do for the PC? Oh, on the PC side, you have to run the pimpstreamer.exe. And inside there, that's where you set up your path for where all your AVI files are going to be listed. We'll say we'll put it on the C drive, and we'll make a, a pimp folder and throw all the AVIs in there. Uh, some of the, then there's the actual transcoding settings. And if you're going to be trying to do this, especially over um, you know, a broadband internet connection, you'll want to set them fairly low, like 256K for the video, uh, 64K for the audio. Or 32. Or 32, depending on you know, what you value more, your video or your audio. <laughs> if need be, you can always go lower, too. <laughs> yeah. And these, these settings vary a lot. You have to play around with these. Uh, this is kind of a program. Experimental. An experimental program so it does skip a lot unless you have like the perfect settings um, so there's the bitrate setting for the video and audio that you can tweak with there's, there's also the frame the rate, frame rate. Uh, I highly recommend you put it at half right now <laughs> yeah. because it's it's still it, taking it a lot of work codes less yeah it takes a lot less and then there's the sleep thread in milliseconds option Right? Yeah, and I'm not I'm not too clear uh, on that. I wasn't too clear. I don't know why uh, some people sleep recommend with red. You set it all some people say they have great success with zero, a lot of people like it at the default of four. Um, we tried setting it really high and it didn't seem to make any difference. <laughs> there might be a threshold for that. <laughs> uh, also the the A V I files that you're streaming make a difference too. I noticed when I'm trying to do a transcode of one of our high definition feeds That's through the, more CPU work. Yeah, it's more CPU intensive, so it was very choppy when it got to the PSP side of things. And if there, there's lower resolution, uh, less highly compressed videos, they seem to stream a lot better to the PSP. So would you recommend you know, having these videos um, 
set to you know, like a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Yes, definitely set them at 16 by 9 because that's what your PSP is. Well, I mean, it's going to transcode it to 16 by 9. Right. But it'd be better if the AVI or whatever was already 16 by 9. Yeah. To begin with. I'm sure if, if you're streaming video files that are closer to what the native resolution is and aspect ratio of the PSP, it's going to be less work for the transcoder and it's all around going to work better. Kind of defeats the purpose of having it do the transcoding on the fly. But... And that's my whole problem is <laughs> I don't know why you want to transcode on the fly to begin with. Just because it's easier. And, but well, it... if you can get it working smoother, this will be fantastic. This will be great. I say for transcoding, just encode into you know the native format for PMP stream that because I mean your dual Xeon was chugging away on just one of those simple AVIs yeah okay not many people have a machine like Pox I mine would just kneel over and die trying to do this so you gotta have a pretty powerful host machine and that's why I say <laughs> screw the transcoding just come out with an encoder to encode to a PMP video format and stream that we'll see we'll, we'll that's to, my request we'll have to keep an eye on this this is only version point two eight it's not even one point yet. so, <laughs> so that's <laughs> my request for the developers is an encoder to, to pre-encode oh so actually not no we got that all the way you actually <laughs> gotta load this thing up on your psp and when you do that you want to make sure and turn off the wi-fi power save because right. if, if you leave that on the thing will never load. <laughs> I sat there waiting for five minutes to load the streamer. And another suggestion they had was to turn off Wi-Fi encryption. Just oh yeah, um, encryption. Uh, you're only you only got a ten megabit connection, or well, eleven megabit <laughs> connection. But with all the traffic, the actual throughput, overhead of all the encryption. overhead, you're really looking at um, like like you're pulling five, a number out of your ass right now. five megabytes, and then you turn on encryption, and it goes down to like two, and yeah, anyways, once you get it loaded, you'll end up with a screen like this. Then you can go ahead and just select whatever file that you want to stream, and just hit the old X button. And look at the slideshow go. Woohoo! Like you said, it's experimental, but this is a very good step forward for streaming media. So, that is the pimp streamer. That is, that is how you stream the pimps. Yes, and uh, keep an eye on it. I'm sure it's going to just be getting better and better. He's releasing new builds all the time. Is it just him working on it, or does he have a dev team for this? I do not know. God, I hope he has a dev team. <laughs> all right. Changing the system font of your PSP. Woohoo, font hack. Yeah. Red yeah. hack. Download them. Show notes. God, that was a quick summary. Anyway, <laughs> to draw out what he had said, there's two different sets of files that you need. There's the font hack program, and then there's the reg hack, which will go on the PSP. The font hack program, just unzip it to wherever. I don't care. Nobody cares. He doesn't care. I don't care. Nobody cares. Run the program. Uh, specify which true type font you want to load up. You can, you can find those in your Windows Yeah, directory. in your Windows directory. You can go or online and find stuff for, like, StarCraft or... Yeah, show notes will have some cool links tricks. to some fonts on there. Yeah. yeah. We got a nice StarCraft one on ours. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, load it up, and then you can mess with the size, and then location of the shadow, blurriness, dark light, and then after that, you s click the Save button, and it'll save it to the list and its configuration. Yeah, the list is really cool, because you can load up a whole bunch of different fonts that you use all the time, and you can always keep changing them, and mm -hmm. it'll keep all the settings. And then you click on Save the Font to the PSP, and then it'll save it to the PSP. God knows where, because I know what the memory stick LED is flashing, Oh, and I tried looking for it, I just don't know where it saves it. And as far as I can tell, it does this automatically, but at the top it shows, you know, the drive letter of your PSP and the firmware that your PSP is using. Right, right. So you can do this right. on 1.5, mm -hmm. we've also tried it on the 2.0, and it worked great. After you hit install on the PC side, it's going to say on the PSP to reboot your PSP. Yes. And you do that by obviously holding the power button up and not taking your battery out. Yeah, hold it up for five seconds or so until it turns off. And then after that? And it comes back on, your font's going to look the same, so don't freak out. It's, it's not really, like it didn't work. Yes. <laughs> so then you just go and you run uh, the eBoot. Right. Um, the reg, uh, the reg hack, the folders that are in there. Um, what you need to do with these folders is you need to place the font mod folder into the root directory of the PSP and then the font mod hack folder goes into the standard PSP game folder. And then after that, 
run the eBoot. It'll tell you, you know, writing registry block, writing registry path. Hey, what do you know? It worked. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> hey, it, what do you know? It worked. I know. Blah blah blah. And then after that, restart the PSP again by holding the power up. And then after that, you have now changed the system font for your PSP. Um, uh, if it doesn't look right, or if it's not quite how you want it to look, you can go back into the font hacker, load up that saved font that you had tweaked with, modify it some more, save it back to the PSP, restart it again, but this time, it'll restart with those saved changes. You don't have to go through the whole eBoot process. That's right. And if you don't, if you want to go back to your regular system font, run the eBoot program, run, again. Run the eBoot program again and revert it back, to, it'll revert back to your regular system font. So, pretty uh, pretty decent flow of uh, work right there. Yeah, so. and, and it's a pretty good process now. You don't have to be too scared <laughs> about breaking the PSP. So. Yes, yes, there's nothing to worry about. But as always, there is always that possibility, so don't blame us if you do. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys like some fonts that you guys have made, go ahead and um, post them to the, to the forum. Can yeah, people I, upload to the forums? Uh, well, they could put links to them. That'll work. <laughs> Yay, so that was episode 14. It's pretty exciting stuff, huh? It was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, so, uh, yeah, the font mod, pretty cool stuff. Got StarCraft fonts in ours. Yeah. I changed my back, Shaq. Oh, really? I, I, uh, some stuff I couldn't read, so I was going to go home and try to find another true type font to use. Oh, well, yeah, I like mine so far, but yeah. I haven't really used it too much. The Ben uh, Streeper Pimp Streamer. I like it. But it's, I still got to play around with some of those settings. Uh, post on our forums if you get some good settings at work and what your PC specs are. You and know. I'll use it when they, they drop transcoding and just do streaming. Uh, the game, the game's a work in progress. Next episode. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then uh, anything else we need to mention? Oh, well, you know, there's the standard you know, tagline thing, you know, they, Check the forums. Uh, if you need help with things, you should there's, be looking at me in twenty of me to do that. Oh, yeah. Check the forums. There's tons uh, of people on there. Ragable's uh, always there to help you out. I oh, mean, if you post oh. something and then like two seconds later, Ragable's there and he's got I used an to do for I you. Used to, when we were very first started out, I used to do that because I could do that at work, but. But uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'm on the forums uh, because I thought by the bit. time the show would get going and we had a community of people on the forum that. I, they, they, you know, self serve. Somebody have a question? Somebody that's been on the forum for a while, answer their question. There are there, there are a good few dozen people out there that are real, you know, experts on all the new mods and things, and are really helpful. And so there's a lot of people on the forums that are pretty knowledgeable. Um, then who, who needs Rackable? <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> the forums they're a lot of fun. Get on them. <laughs> Anything else we need to mention? Subscribe to the feed. <laughs> Anything else? If you subscribe to the feed, you'll get the shows first. You won't have to always check the website. You can just subscribe to the feed and they'll come down to you. The Communicast. If you've noticed, um, we're doing, we've, we've only been doing about one video show a month. We were doing one every other week, but uh, we've, we, we've opted for doing longer shows once a month rather than shorter shows twice well, a month. Well, we didn't really opt. That's just how it ended up. Oh, anyways, that's how it is, but... People wanted to be informed, so we figured, what kind of spare time do we have left in our lives? Well, the commute to work. So, <laughs> <laughs> so stay. You know, if you want to check the Two Smart Guys website, we have our commute cast, which That's is all. There, I think. Doesn't the design look like shit right now? The the Two Smart Guys. Yeah, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. It's not like it doesn't have PHP Nuke or anything like that. But uh, that's true. Anyways, the two, the commute cast. It's us talking crap on our way to work. Or way back from work. Like all the latest tech news and our thoughts on it. and uh, Mostly PSP stuff and progress on the show. Yeah. yeah. Four minutes to it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. We, we run over... No, well, we, we see all the road kill and, and... Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Okay. <laughs> Anything else to mention besides... Uh, DVDs are still for sale. Donate 10 bucks. We'll send you a copy. If you want to... you want to set up a better deal for them? Oh now yeah, got, yeah. yeah. Now, now, now we got three of them. If you want all three of them, if you donate twenty bucks, we'll send you all three. Twenty bucks. Fifteen dollars. Okay. Fifteen dollars will send you all three DVDs. Okay. What about shipping now? What, are we what about, do about shipping? shipping? Uh, if you live outside of the country, ten. If you could, 
if you can just guesstimate how much it's going to be and <laughs> donate that. We have we have this uh, the smart shop set up, but it's it's funky. It's funky and it doesn't seem to work with outside the U.S. We will ship outside the U.S., but just, just let us know and we'll do it. Yeah, just let us know and we can we can give you the cost of shipping. Uh, if you're in the U.K., if you could donate ten bucks extra for shipping because it's it's expensive to ship outside the U.S. Imagine that. Um. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. Anything else? No. Okay. Um, if you have any ideas for um for the game, such as power ups, um, things to happen, events, sprite ideas, send them to us. Oh yeah. Also the music. Uh, Gold Rush. <laughs> yes. He did this interesting yes. little rap at the beginning of the, <laughs> the episode. Uh, Anyways, thanks for that. I, think. I love user music. I think. <laughs> I love user music. And if you couldn't get enough of it at the beginning, you're going to be forced to listen to it again. One. No. The credits. Ah! <laughs> Enjoy, suckers. Regal. Fox. Later. Out. It's the PSP hacking to the 101. You better respect her, I'ma pop you with my gun. I'll be strapping my PSP with all the new brew. Pimp streamer and homebrew tag for you. They got so much dough, it ain't even stackable. You know who they be, it's the Pox and Wreckable. They teaching you hacking, clearer than glass. It's like they force feeding this stuff up your ass. Wreckable and Pox, they teach you real nice. They win when they come and they know how to throw their dice. These gangsters right here, they icier than ice. So before you talk about them, you better think twice. This has been a Two Smart Guys production.